Legislation and standards restrict more and more hazardous substances found in electrical and electronic equipment EEE. Why an EU ROSE procedure? Those restrictions apply either to products or to production activities. They may involve product labeling such as the CE marking per EU ROSE, as well as different product assessments, subscriptions to agencies, specific statements, or declarations of conformity doc. When exporting or placing finished goods into a specific market, the manufacturers must demonstrate that their in-scope products meet the applicable local substance restrictions. The goal of a procedure is to describe the environmental compliance management system of products, to show due diligence, and to declare compliance against applicable product environmental laws, like EU ROSE. Any manufacturer introducing EEE in Europe should draft such a procedure, regardless of the made in and country of origin. What an EU ROSE procedure should contain. As a company, you should carry out risk analyses and determine the essential requirements applicable to your EEE products, such as ROSE, REACH SVHC, WEEE, California Proposition 65, and others. Your product ROSE technical file should record and include such risk analysis. Here are five steps that an EU ROSE technical file should encompass. Explain how you monitor your product environmental requirements. Before assessing a product, the first step is to find out what the rules are. Different resources are available, such as the EnviroPass LinkedIn page and environmental compliance newsletter. Once you know what the potentially applicable product environmental requirements are, then it is recommended to apply a regulatory risk assessment and prioritize the standards and regulations of interest. Set a ROSE Compliance Action Plan According to EU ROSE, the manufacturer must conduct the applicable conformity assessments of its products or have them carried out. Enviropass is here to help you assess your products against ROSE, REACH SVHC and Annex 17, California Prop. 65. Persistent Organic Pollutants POP and any other product environmental compliance requirements. ROSE Testing Activities. The conformity assessment is conducted by reviewing the documentation as collected from your providers, for every EEE that must be compatible with any ROSE jurisdictions, worldwide. Every component and material included in the parts list, or bill of materials BOM, of a product must be assessed at the manufacturer's source level. In any case, you must make sure that your supporting documentation will enable you to determine the minimum of ROSE information, such as the part, material reference, Series or general statements can be accepted under certain conditions. The ROSE exemptions information. Can you find out without ambiguity if a part is ROSE compliant without exemption? If an exemption is claimed, is it still valid, or has it expired? The number of covered restricted substances. Does the statement cover 10 ROSE substances or only the first 6 ones? The EU ROSE Declaration of Conformity. The ROSE doc must follow the EU ROSE Annex V of Directive 2011 65 EU and include an ID number identifying the product, for example the product's name and the model's version, the legal name and address of the manufacturer, the following statement. This declaration of conformity is issued under the sole responsibility of the manufacturer. The identification of the product, such as the product description or an image, the requirements the product complies with, the date of issue of the doc, the signature and title of the authorized person. Conformity marking. Every product with a complete technical file and valid docs must bear relevant conformity markings according to the risk analysis and product requirements. The marking for a ROSE compliant product is the CE marking. What process must be described in the EU ROSE procedure? In a nutshell, the manufacturer must explain the following four actions. Determine what information is needed, collect the information, evaluate the information and decide whether to include it in the product technical documentation or not ensure that the technical documentation remains valid. How often should I reiterate the ROSE testing process? The product technical file is not static. You should undertake the ROSE testing process anytime a product's technical file must be updated. A new component or a new manufacturer source is created. A new revision of a purchase designed assembly or part is released. The regulatory risk analysis shows new product requirements or changes in the product requirements. What if a part is not fully EU ROSE compliant? When, one manufacturer source does not provide evidence of compliance for a specific component, then the whole part is assessed as non-compliant. 
A component can only be evaluated as compliant if all of its manufacturer sources are found compliant. The ROSE procedure for corrective actions. Obsoleting the problematic sources components and replacing them if possible. Modifying the design, materials used, and or performing a new chemical analysis, analytical test report, specifically for the identified risky homogeneous materials, if the component source cannot be replaced. ROSE traceability requirements. This is a key concept when it comes to drafting a ROSE procedure. Product identification. A serial number. The manufacturer's name registered trade name. A contact postal address on the product or when not possible because of its size or physical characteristics, excluding non-aesthetical reasons, on its packaging, and or on the accompanying documentation. Archiving the ROSE procedure and technical file. According to the EU ROSE Directive 2011-65 EU, every element of the technical files should be kept for at least 10 years after the last item of a product model was placed on the market. Non-conformity and recalls. Every non-conforming EEE and product recall must be registered internally as well. Need help with your product environmental compliance or your ROSE procedure? Contact Enviropass.